I like getting paid to kill wall masters. Very nice. Now, in here is quite possibly one of my favorite things in the game. This is something I really like. Uh, you can also alternatively put on the captain's hat to fool the uh, to fool the uh, redeads. We're gonna put it on in. Look at that! We got that guy twirling. We got these guys doing like a breaststroke dance, and then we got this guy over here. Look, at, he's doing like a Russian folk dance. He's all over there. He's going like Moscow, Moscow. I don't know the freaking words. I don't know the freaking words. Ah ha 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 ha! Hey, Moscow, Moscow. I don't know the freaking words. I don't know the freaking words. Ah ha ha ha! Hey! Ha ha! Doggy racetrack that we went to earlier. Now we know it's not going to be quite so much of a risk if we can read a dog's mind with this. So let's go. I kind of just want to get the reward for this. I really don't care if I, you know, go over on my rippy count. And whoa! Come on, keep destroying the competition. Keep destroying the competition. No, what are you doing? That's not destroying the competition. That's letting them catch up. No! Do you have any idea how much money I have riding on you? It's more than you make in a year! In a year! A year of eating, sleeping, and pooping! Oh my god, look at this! This is a train wreck! That was... Dude, he came in fifth from last! So much for, I don't think I can lose today. Overconfident little. That was a bad choice. Yeah, 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 I'll play again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here for my wife and child, there's no way I'll lose. That is a good sign, okay. Let's see, yes, this doggy is fine. Okay, doggy probably takes first place, you can trip your bed, okay. Da -da 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 -da. All right, let's bet 80 once more. He's in last place! Okay, he's not quite in, oh no, he's still in last place. What is it? All my strategies that typically work are just not working today. Oh, he's, he's climbing up. Don't know if he's gonna win, but he's certainly not in last for the time being. Um, I like how the dog is married and has a kid. You did not listen to Bob Barker. You did not control the pet population. Have your pet spit. Okay, I got fifth, so I broke even. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is why I always listen to Bob Barker. All right, well, I'll give you back the amount you put down. Yes, 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 yes. Why am I singing the Meow Mix song? All right, let's try this one. Wife and child again. All right, third race. Typically, this doesn't take me that long. Usually, I do this in like one try, and yet today, it just isn't being good. It's being very, very not nice. My name is Thomas. Okay, cool. We have to, we're already on the inside, which is really, really nice. Why are you running outside? You should stay on the inside. That means you have to run the least distance. Dude, no other dog is on the inside. You should just go there. Uh, he's taking third. He's in second. I almost don't want to say that he's doing well, though, because then I know he won't win. That's typically how the luck goes. And, uh-oh. Oh! I can't tell what place he got. Uh, you... You look like you're wearing curtains. All right, here for the wife and kid. Let's let's not. No, don't. Let's not toss him. All right, let's see how we do for the fourth time. Usually I win this in one or two tries, and yet, of course, when I'm recording, this is taking as long as it possibly can. I don't think time passes while you're doing this, though. So at least that's good. There's no clock at the bottom of the screen. This is a cutscene, so. I doesn't pass in cutscenes. It just would be nice to be over with this, though, because even if in-game time isn't passing, real time is, and this video is getting longer and longer with each passing loss. And you are sucking, sir. Overtake them! Do it! Fourth. All right, let's take the blue dog this time. I am keep going with that saying, though, because it's always the thing that they say that always makes me win, usually. And I guess technically he's right, though, because he's not losing. He just isn't winning. Okay, keep your lead. Usually they don't keep their lead, but... Okay, come on. No! You're falling behind! No! Don't take second! Don't take third! Don't take fourth! Don't take fifth! Come on! Move faster! Don't... Look at that! They're destroying you! No! No! What are you doing? 
What are you doing? No, my money! He got sixth! He got the minimum possible placing he could have gotten and had me lose my money. Okay. Be right back after I go get more money because I need to bet a minimum of 50 rupees, a maximum of 80 rupees if I want a chance of winning this. Because you have to get at least 150 reward. You did not open the way, you liar. Taking credit for my work. We should call you Evan. All right, least amount of distance to run. Let's do this, even though you're going to screw it up by running in with the pack, even though you should just stay close to the center. Four. Keep second, keep second, keep second, keep second, keep second, keep second. No, don't go to third, keep second. No, don't go to fourth! Say the racetrack is cruel to the dogs, it's cruel to the humans as well. Let's try a different approach, let's try one that thinks I'll do all right, let's go with the golden dog. He's in last place! Pathetic. <laughs> okay, that was pretty funny. <laughs> oh my god, that was pretty funny. <laughs> he was that far behind! Keep the lead. No, don't lose the lead. I said keep the lead. Oh, don't go to third, don't go to fourth. All right, come on. Take second, take second. All I need is for you to take second. Come on! No! Uh. When will it end? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes! I can finally leave this place! Dude! I started recording this just after- <laughs> Okay, I deserve that one last lap before the end. I started recording! At like 12- like- like 12.45 tonight. It is 3.41 right now! And this is the third episode I'm recording tonight, guys. That's how long this took! This recording session, this particular video right now that makes up this and last episode, my recorder says an hour and 36 minutes. I will put on screen right now how much digital data that is in uncompressed AVI, which is what I recorded, okay? <sighs> 160 rupees. Nice going. You want over 100 euros? I'll give you a bonus prize too. Okay. Technically, you don't have to win this in one race. You just have to win it consecutively without losing. 150 rubies consecutively without losing. You get a piece of heart. All right. No! I do not want to play again. Oh, really? Yes, really. No, I do not want to play again. Now, let's get the hell out of here. And no, we are not coming back here. You can tell I am angry because I am using my oldest catchphrase. Now that I got out that little tiny story that I was trying to tell, I would like to show you guys this level. Now this right here is weird level design. I've heard about good level design and bad level design, but this is the only level I call weird level design. This level is built around talking to people. <laughs> I'm a shuckster! Basically, you have to talk to them in the right place at the right time. Like, see this little guy? He th doesn't throw very far, so if you want to make to the side, he has to be close to the edge. This guy right here throws really hard, so he's got to be as far away from that other area, if from the ledge as uh, he possibly can be, so you can make it across. Yeah, this is a weird level. Like, I don't know what Miyamoto might have been on when he was thinking of this level idea, but sure enough, I'm not going to question the man himself. Higher, higher! What the? Okay, that was weird. Don't hold back! All right, we're back. Okay, now let's talk to this dude. 
Uh, whoa, 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 I slid like through him somehow and I almost died. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Higher, higher! Oh, wow, I actually made it. I skipped over a platform too, I didn't even have to talk to that guy right there. Yay, I sequence broke the game. Uh, excuse me, sir, could you please start walking? Alright, now this guy right here. Probably the hardest one of all. This level's really not too bad, though. All you gotta do is just get right here, line it up, and when he passes by you, talk to him. The Lima Chuckster! Murder! Killing me will bring back your goddamn honey! <sighs> it's him! It's him! The man who caused my death before. Now, please, have mercy on my poor, innocent life this time. Please, sir. Please. Don't be cruel. The I'm a Chuckster. He's still a murderer, Bobby! Okay, now once again, time for the grand finale of it all. Uh, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Yep, I knew it. I talked to him too soon. Why would you design a level around talking to people at the right time? It's like social skills class. Now for the grand finale, we're gonna make it! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about! That's what I'm talking about! Jeez. Took like all but f like five or six of my lives. Uh, now we have to do it again with the eight red coins. Previously on Super Paper Mario! Chapter 5 2! Craig! Craig! They're freaking plants! Maybe they're moving faster because Pokey's here. Platform is pointless because I have carry. Water tablet! Curses! Point at the freaking club, I like fire tablet. Grab Boggly! Grab Lurg! No! Makes the stone one appear, so. Talk to me! No way! And I want viewer suggestions for what I should put in here. 18,000 comments later. I am Pikmin, hear me? Moo! Miyamoto! A bee? Game! Finland! Wallywog! MC Hammer! Nose laser! Shouting! And as a reference to the last thing that I asked the viewers to name in a Paper Mario game, how about we write Scrap, the name of my Yoshi partner in Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door? Oh yeah, that's perfect! I'm loving that! Real good word and real good time, and it got me right there, in the heart! And on that note, hang on a quick sec. Scrap! Okay, he just had to get all those out of his system.
just like me. Porky? Do you know what I say to you after ten years of waiting to get my revenge on you? No! But, um, yeah, while we were uh, swimming around, because I gotta go back up and have another shot at that, I probably shouldn't have grabbed that metal block. I just kind of wanted to demonstrate the ability to walk underwater if you uh, are metal. Um, I will say this, um, surprisingly, despite the fact that I thought some of you would think this was kind of old, a lot of you were kind of disappointed that when I was playing as Warrior back in Hazy Maze Cave, that, um, my DIMPS rate was down. My dimps rate? Like the people that make the Sonic games is? No. My DIMPS rate. Do I missed per second! <laughs> Some of you guys were saying my do I missed per second rate was down. So... You want to use your complimentary ID? Okay, here goes! You are so great! Absolutely fantastic! Incredible! And there you go! Isn't it nice to be complimented once in a while? It is, isn't it? So he appreciates us and thinks we're incredible for giving him all that money that we've given him over the course of the game. Well, you know what, Beetle? I'm gonna give you loads more business. In fact, I'd like to buy some stuff from you. Let's buy some arrows. Oh, okay, I already have enough of those. Buy some bombs. Okay, let's see. Um, I'll buy your potion. There we go. I'll go on our fourth bottle. You know what? All right, I think we're done there. All right, we've gone ahead and we've. I'm and you know what, Beetle? I got even more appreciation to show you. You know, I appreciate you a lot too. You're. I wanted to show you how much I appreciate you, and I appreciate you so so much that all that stuff I bought from you just now, I'm gonna give it all back to you! Die! 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 I've shown you a lot of appreciation, Beetle. Yes, I have. Your ship is smoking now. You know what? I got more appreciation for you! I was gonna buy some of these from you! But, you know, I didn't Let's see here, okay? I let's hit him a fire. Alright, there you go. There you go. I was gonna buy arrows from you too, but I you weren't gonna let me hold any, so I'll give you some free arrows that you can sell. And in the trailer you saw that I messed up on this jump. Let's see if I've practiced enough to the point where I can do it right. Yay, I can. One up right here. These these levels are crawling with one ups though, so you'll probably mess up and <laughs> Wow! <laughs> wow! Perfect freaking timing! <laughs> I'm not gonna lie though, this cutscene is actually pretty cool though. Oh my god, he's Moses! Um... Um... Did I really just... Collect that with... No... What? Huh? Wait... Hey! Oh god! Oh god! Oh my god! That legit... <laughs> okay, that... <laughs> I went from being confused to actually being legitimately scared by it! Really don't no 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 Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Let's Play Super Luigi Galaxy. Well, that was one giant great big ball of epic fail right there to start off the video with. Okay. 
Apparently that's gonna be good for you guys. I wanted to like long jump into the thing, but okay, fine. All right, here comes Super Mario Ho RPG. It is the only one just for me. When I play the game, I get lost in a phase. Then I find out I'm stuck in Geno's maze. Super Mario Ho RPG. It is the only one just for me. When I play the game, I get lost in a phase. Then I find out I'm stuck in Geno's maze. Give me frog wins, give me Sia, give me Mario, give me Mello, give me Gino. I don't know the ports to this part because it goes really fast. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Give me something, give me ice bombs, I don't know. There are many secrets in this game, many of which drive some peeps insane. When we try to cheat in a really good game, just sounds like crap and it makes you look lame. Exiting the forest is super simple, all you do is follow these patterns. Alright, that's it. That is all I'm gonna do. Alright, continuing on. Follow Gino through here, follow Gino through here, follow Gino through here. I'm a gaming god. Whatever. Anyway, right here is one of my favorite things in the game. Good! Great! Awesome! Outstanding! Amazing! All I did was press A! Okay, I've, I've quoted that many times over the years, but it's just one of those things that I can never get enough of. It's just so funny and crazy and out of play and we're just pressing A. Don't want to speak too soon. I really don't want to speak too soon. But... I think that's the last treasure. And I think we've gone without setting off what it is I am so afraid of. I just had to open my mouth! I just had to say it! As soon as I finish saying it, you suck! You suck! Game! What is this? I can see it with my optical receptors, but my sensors cannot detect it. Could its physical form be anchored in another dimension? Attacking it is futile. If only we could force it into taking on a physical form, but it's in its current stage. Krzerzerk. Danger, 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 Will Robinson. Oh, I had to open my mouth. I had to open my mouth. I freaking hate me, and I hate my mouth. Okay, let's run like hell! Run like hell- Hey, he killed the Dweevil for us, how nice. Yeah, well, he's not very nice. This is the Water Wraith! No! Whoa! Um, that's gonna- I did not have a chance there. Um, go Slavenator! Fight in the game. <laughs> All Slavenator did was just pop out and look at it funny, and it went down. <laughs> I didn't think the poison would really do that much of its health. Slavenator grew to level four. <laughs> Slavenator grew to level five. Slavenator learned Tail Whip. Slavenator grew to level six. <laughs> Slavenator grew to level 7! <laughs> oh my god, lucky 7 indeed. Whoa, wow, you made a much bigger splash than I expected! You swamped me with a level 3 zigzagoon. Okay, you got me. Take this gym badge. <laughs> Give me your money! But I'm not supposed to cash them in, just because it's more fun for me. It's just awesome. So, Groudon? Now, there's actually kind of an interesting thing that I'd like to bring up right now. The day of this video getting uploaded is March is a uh, March 19th. I'm recording this pretty far in advance, but this date has significance. This is the ninth anniversary of Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire being released in North America, and as such, I'm going to be. Oh my God! Oh my God! Are you serious? What? Are you I've lost man points heavily. <laughs> Speaking of heavy, it's over 2,000 pounds, making it the heaviest Pokemon in existence. 
Groudon, the continent Pokemon. Groudon has appeared in mythology as creator of the land. It sleeps in magma underground and is said to make volcanoes erupt on awakening. 383 is its national Pokedex number, so if you think it's a contradiction with the bio, then that's fine. Anyway, ninth anniversary since Ruby and Sapphire being released, and because of that... Alright, he wasn't a required battle, nor did he have any important Shadow Pokemon, or any Shadow Pokemon at all, really, so I didn't think it was overly necessary to show that fight. The Down Saint Key is needed to- Oh, Downstairs Key! <laughs> the Down Saint Key! I am so stupid! <laughs> Dyslexia at its finest, the Down Saint Key! Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Pikmin 2. In the last episode, we returned to our home planet only to be told that our company went bankrupt and they sold our ship without our permission to pay off their own debt, while telling us that we must go back to working full-time immediately before even spending any time with our family whom we thought we'd never see again because we spent the last month marooned on a distant planet with only 30 days worth of breathable air and had to go back to this forsaken planet to do our job for God knows how long. It's just like America. Be kidding me! Oh my god! After all 30 of my Ultra Balls failed, a Pokeball caught it! What? <laughs> First. What the? I wonder if there are any goodies there. On a picture of a ch Luigi, I thought you were against pedophilia when we were in Chauncey's room. But anyway. Hi, mister. What are you doing over there by yourself? Hi, why don't you play hide and seek with us? Ha 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 Let's play! What I do best. Yay! Okay, we're going to hide. Now wait outside. Okay, his accent completely changed from, like, Scottish to British. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we go outside. Okay, you can come in though. You know, it makes it easy. Easily! What the hell? This randomly went easy! Oh, my Bill Cosby voice. I don't know. What the happen and the hopping and the pippin and the poppin'? So they don't know what the J is, is all about! You see? Jazz is like. Jello pudding. No, actually, it's more like Kodak film. No, actually, Jazz is like a new cook. It'll be around forever. <laughs> Come on, little fella, you like a jump rope. What do you think candy is made out of? Pokemon, Pokemon. No, actually, candy is more like Kodak film. See, here I go down the slope. Oh, I'm going zoop 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 with the pop. God. So we go to Molly's house and Croc! What are you doing here? This was gonna be my big day with Molly and uh, uh really Croc? Really? I've been hearing animals gossiping lately that the two of these have been getting along really well, and they've been like best of friends. And Molly, you are a saint for putting up with Croc. Uh, what does he have to say? Yo, shorty, you came too? I just got here a bit before this. That's making me. <laughs> you a better friend? Are you? you gave Molly a present this video. She's super happy with it, as if. <laughs> I guess it means you got some strong competition in the good friend department. Oh my god. I hate you so much. What kind of present you bring for the birthday animal? Of course, your sincere feelings are always the best present. Or at least it's what we tell everyone. I hate you! Oh, you! I'm sure she'd be through no matter what you gave her, as if! Okay, that's it. Well, unless you just give her old socks again. Yeah, I don't know why people ever go for that one. You know what? I don't, I'm not gonna hate Croc. If her and Croc get along, that's their business. What do you gotta say, Pongo? You're looking so you- What do you mean, so you today? I look like a Pikmin! <laughs> What are you trying to say there? What, that my name should be Bob? Need to change a little something about my room, but I need to get hold of an orchid mantis. You should, okay, wait a second, wait a second. I bought her, or not bought her, I caught her that orchid mantis yesterday. 
And she's like, I need to get rid of my old orchid man. Does night touch, but I'm over. What a jerk. I thought you were nice. And you're just like, yeah. So, okay, fine. If you're gonna be that way, how about we catch you a less valuable bug for your house? There's one down there though that I can't get it. Where, where'd it go? There, there we go, okay. What are you? You are a cricket. That's a sticky wicket, isn't it? <laughs> All right. Pongo, where are you? There you are. Here, take this smelly old cricket I got off of the ground. That's, you're so mean. I was just all like, I could donate that orchid mantis to the museum. And I was saying that I wanted to do it, but no. I'm like, I'm gonna give this rare bug to Pongo. And she's just all like, ugh, oh, I got it like two days ago and I'm over it. Okay, so fine. What's my thank you gift? I can't see what it is. Exotic end table. Thanks for that, jerk. <laughs> and now you gotta jump early to get between the boats and miss the coin altogether. Anyway, just go ahead and as soon as that timer starts, get your ass on a blooper because you have ten minutes to collect the eight red coins. Ten mi Two minutes? What the Use ten with two. Uh, Belly, your rubbing, your rubbing skills are rubbing off. I almost, I was going to say your math skills are rubbing off me though, but I just said, I was going to say your rubbing skills are mathing off on me. <laughs> I did admit, that's one for the books. That is a quote from the books. <laughs> I couldn't help but die there. That was too funny. Your rubbing skills are mapping off on me. Your blooper doesn't disappear, and the camera tends to be a bitch as soon as it reappears. Us now, you got to collect the shine sprite on the blooper. I am not kidding. You have to do. You have to trick it out to collect the shine sprite while on the blooper. And these logs right here, they are like instant death. Like I just showed. Why is it taking me like four takes to get this right? Objectively, this mission's easy. They, they pretty much just tell you where the red coins are because they have that path laid out for you, though. It's just that they're hard to actually collect. I mean, like this one right here, you got those four pillars in the way. And in this one right here, you gotta trick this out, which I failed in doing. So hang on, let me go around. Shit, my controller's dead. No! My batteries! Crap, 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 no, 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 my controller batteries died! What the hell? No! How'd I live? What the hell? I'm alive? What? How am I alive? Wow, how am I alive? Oh, and now I die. But at the same time, sometimes when you pick up an item ball, it will be a Voltorb or an Electrode. Yeah, it's dumb, I know, because Voltorbs are a foot tall and Electrodes are more than three feet tall. And there should be no reason in the world that you would be dumb enough to mistake an item for something that's three feet in diameter. Uh, you know, speaking of Electrode, there's something that's been bugging me about Electrode for a while now. Electrode has a height of 311 and a weight of 146.8 pounds. Assuming that it is the shape of a ferric sphere, which its diameter is its height, one can easily calculate its density is 73.6 kilograms per cubic meter. As the density of water is 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed, it should be able to easily float on water carrying something as heavy as 2,000 pounds, but it can't learn surf. There's a Pokemon that I want to get in this area, so let's just look around for it for a second. Alright, maybe this is it now. Yes, this is it, and... OH MY GOD! <laughs> this is something that is very rare. This is a shiny Pokemon. There is a 1 in 8,000... 192 chance that you will find one of these. Uh, yes, I found a blue coughing. This is the Pokemon I wanted for my team because I needed a defensive wall. I'm sorry if my commentary is very nonsensical right now. I'm just, I can't believe it. Oh god. Alright, please catch this thing. I swear my heart is pounding like out of my chest right now. I can't believe it. <laughs> Uh, and I was thinking of getting repels to get in here fast and coming back and catching it later. Uh, thank God I didn't. Oh, God. Alright. One, two, three. Yeah! Oh, I'm sorry. I just... I can't believe it. I found a shiny Pokemon. But, what you can do that's actually kind of a cool glitch is go ahead and just talk to an NPC, 
wait for a few seconds. You're so boring, I'd rather die than talk to you! And yep, you die. And actually, the too bad thing will not come up until after you stop talking to that person. You can just sit there dead as long as you want. Where are all my crew? You wiped them out, every last one? Impossible! One kid took down all those shadow Pokemon we made? Ugh. In wrecking my factory, you smeared dirt all over my good name and standing! It's freaking Donkey Kong! You've done it now. I'm steaming mad, and there's no forgiving that, ever! Be prepared to drop! This guy is freaking Donkey Kong! I mean, just look at him! He, like, hops around, he rolls, he punches his chest, and uh, flexes his muscles! Dead. Drops the treasure chest. Good thing I'm here. Press A to loot it when you're done. <laughs> Sorry about that. I didn't mean to get sidetracked, though, but... If you haven't noticed, the battles in this game are very, very quotable, and Ryan there was just like, Good thing I'm here. No? Anyone? I'll be pointing out ones that I like later. Needless to say, Ryan has some of the best battle quotes there are. And you know what? It would be blasphemous if I did not give them all the time of day right here. So here you go. Yeah, I'm turning up the hate. Yeah, we got them good. I know why. Now it's Ryan time. That there is the granddaddy of them all. It's Ryan time. <laughs> time for pain. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> time for pain. I'm ready.